So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use this conductivity meter. Conductivity meter is a measure of ions. And what that means is minerals and metals and salts that are in water that can conduct electricity will increase the value of conductivity. Every body of water has its own normal value and that's based on its bedrock and what is occurring naturally. So you need to test over time for conductivity to know when something's gone wrong. Things that can go wrong include things like road salts or erosion that are human caused. So you wanna make sure that you know what's normal first. So to do this test, I'm gonna remove the cap to pull. I'm gonna press the top button once to turn it on. And once it's on, I'm gonna get my sample. I'm gonna rinse my cup three times in the water I'm going to be testing. And then I'm gonna take my sample 10 centimeters below the surface. Now you can leave it on your reacher stick or you can, um, you can take it off, but you can put it in here. The top number is conductivity in micro siemens per centimeter. And then the bottom number is the water temperature. If you're getting a reading below five, it usually means your meter is not in the water properly. It's detecting the air. Make sure that you have the cap off and that you have it right in the water when you take your measurement. In this case, our conductivity reading is 91 microsiemens per centimeter, and our, air, our water temperature is 26.7. You want to make sure that this US is not flashing, that's the microsiemens. And if it changes to MS, that means you're in millisiemens. Um, so it might read 1.35 or something, and that is 1,350 microsiemens. Every body of water has its own normal value, so you want to make sure that you do this regularly uh, to understand your water body's health. 